Welcome to NAMAT, a health initiative provided by the Healthy Lifestyle Programme of Aspatar. This video presents illustrative episodes that highlight the physical activity guidelines of which are found in the booklet of Qatar's National Guidelines of Physical Activity. Welcome. Diabetes is a chronic disease caused by increased levels of sugar in the blood due to the limited effectiveness of insulin or its low secretion from the pancreas. The regular practice of physical activity and adopting a low sugar, low fat diet can reduce insulin needs. This reduces complications related to the small and large blood vessels and organs such as the heart, kidneys and eyes. Also, physical activity prevents heart disease and stroke. There are two types of exercises. Physical fitness exercises. These are continuous physical activity exercises using large muscle groups. Such exercise helps you strengthen your heart and lungs and improve the body's ability to use oxygen. Examples include walking, cycling and water sports. Strength exercises. There are frequent exercises that depend on tensing the muscle to lift or push weights. Prior to exercise, a warm-up is recommended. This could be done by stretching major muscle groups and or performing light aerobic activity that involves all major muscle groups. It is recommended to train all muscle groups, i.e. each group with the corresponding one, at a maximum rate of two or three times a week. Before finishing exercise, it is recommended to do a light cool down for 10 to 15 minutes and finish with relaxing movements. It is recommended to stop exercises if, if your blood glucose is higher than 270 milligrams, stop exercising and drink more water. Then make sure to take your medication and check with your doctor if the situation reoccurs. Do not proceed with any physical activities until your blood sugar level decreases below 230 milligrams. You must also stop exercises if a urine test contains ketones. If your blood glucose percentage is lower than 110 milligrams, eat a piece of candy, about 20 to 30 grams of carbohydrates, drink a glass of juice and wait for half an hour before resuming your physical activity, after rechecking your blood sugar level and ensuring it is within the acceptable level. Wear suitable clothes with shoes and socks to protect your feet during exercises. Check your feet before and after each exercise. Check your blood sugar before and after exercising and whenever you have symptoms of low blood sugar, such as hunger, sweating, headache or dizziness. Do your exercises one or two hours after having your meals and more than one hour after having your last insulin dose. Reduce the last dose of insulin by 30 to 50% when doing intensive exercises. Do not inject the muscles you focus on during your exercises. Have a snack of carbohydrates to eat in case of a sudden drop of sugar. Try to exercise with a partner to help you in case of emergencies. Use a medical alert bracelet during exercise. Physical activity significantly affects blood sugar levels. Therefore, diabetes patients must consult their doctor about modifying the amount and timing of doses. Diabetes patients have to consult a dietitian regarding meals before and after the exercise and visit their doctor to intensify their exercises. Many thanks for watching and we wish you benefit from the tips given in this video. You can follow the other episodes at www.namat.qa.